Imagine it's time for your yearly flu shot. There is only one other family in the doctor's office besides yours. You're sitting there, nervous, frantic about this flu shot. I was a child sitting there with my legs shaking, my heart pounding, and my blood pressure rising. The other child sitting across the room, as I looked, was reading a novel, calmly, quietly, just like a little child. You think to yourself, a shot only takes a second. But as a child, it's hard to understand this concept. And thinking to yourself that a needle can be good for you, that's impossible. I was just like the child on the verge of the mental breakdown, frightening and not knowing what this outcome was about to be. Nicholas Backlar of the New York Times Magazine quoted that, 100, that the flu vaccine is not 100% effective but it has saved thousands of lives and, pre and prevented millions of hospitalizations. The flu vaccine is a preventative measure taken by most families to prevent the flu influenza that virus from spreading in their homes and in public, or <laughs> in public areas. There are many kids around the globe that don't get the medical attention they need, but as far as the U.S., our focus should be on the problem of why a flu shot should be forced. In this discussion, we will cover why the flu shot should be forced, then why, which produce potential cat catastrophes in families and in school systems around the globe. And in conclusion, we will look at the solution for helping enforce the flu shot nationwide. First, let us discuss two of many possible problems for the general public avoiding the flu vaccine. Staying healthy is vital in keeping your body in proper working condition. The first problem is the refusal of, healthy, of using healthy habits during the flu season. When fall season comes around, the main worry of parents and schools is the influenza virus outbreaks, <laughs> otherwise known as the flu. The Salem, health, the Salem Press Health Department states, the, the flu is characterized by respiratory problems more severe than those of the common cold. Schools attempt at trying to keep their systems running smoothly without the fear of illness outbreaks. But as the general public, few of these take into consideration the effects of proper guidance for staying healthy. An article by the Salem Press Health Department notes, schools are often encouraged to, to, to schools are often, schools often encourage the immunization, particularly in years when a new strain is causing a flu pandemic, such as the 2009 H1N1 virus pandemic. Virus, or various school systems have taken different strategies towards the prevention of the pandemic, such as recommendations for the immunization for kids of the appropriate age to receive the shot, taking time to teach the valuable and basic hygiene classes, and finally, the attendance policy, which warns individuals that if flu symptoms are shown, that the individual should not, should not attend school. This complete refusal of healthy habits is, the, is one of the main sources linked to virus outbreaks in schools. The second issue is the fear of the side effects of the immunization. Dr. Rebecca Stahl of the Salem Press Health Department stated, most vaccinated persons develop post-vaccination inhibition antibodies. These antibodies are protective against illness caused by strains similar to those in the vaccine or by related variants that, um, that may emerge during outbreaks. There have been many slight side effects of the flu of an immunization, including cold-like symptoms such as sneezing, coughing, and runny noses. Each of these symptoms can be side effects of the flu and may often lead to, and may oftentimes lead to preconceived misconceptions of what the actual vaccine protects, and e protects each person from. But because of the brief list of the side effects, many people skip out on getting the immunization and protecting themselves for the long run. Let's look at the culprits of these issues and find a cure for them. Now, for the causes of why a flu shot should be forced, include two problems linked back to the cooperation and fears of side effects of the vaccine. The first possible cause of, the, of why a flu shot should be forced is the increasing number of influenza outbreaks in the school systems. If a school closes down to an illness pandemic, the consequences endured are hard on the parents of students. Younger children are typically left in the, in the supervision of a babysitter or a close relative, thus spreading the germs to another family or possibly another school system. If a high school closes down, Due to an illness pandemic, teenagers will often take the time off to socialize with fellow classmates in public areas. Staying healthy during the flu season requires work and effort. You have to use proper techniques for staying clean, such as washing your hands, coughing and sneezing into your arm, and sanitizing before and after eating. 
the CDC, or Center for Disease Control, recommends all children older than six months receive an annual seasonal influenza vaccine. The flu is easily spread in school, system, in school systems because oftentimes parents are unaware of the child's symptoms until they are running a fever and are considered contagious. Children are able to pass along the sickness because the flu is spread through the inhaling and, con and contact with the droplets of an, infected, an, an, of an infected person's cough or sneeze. As kids, the concept of, of covering your mouth for a cough or a sneeze is hard to learn and apply to a daily life. The second cause of why a flu shot should be forced is because unborn children contract the flu from their mothers. An article by Denise Jameson notes, pregnant women are at an increased risk for complications because of a de deceased immune system. The, great chance of the greatest chance of requiring the flu happens during the winter months, and data suggests that a risk for pregnancy loss or premature labor and delivery with an illness such as the flu. Maternal deaths have also been reported. Because some uncooperative or fearful women have chosen not to receive a flu vaccine, it has led to many complications in the delivery room. Several of the reported cases of why, why the women refused the vaccine was because of the side effects of the immunization. Rather than worrying about the long-term effects, they were worrying about the small, time, the small sided side effects of the immunization. The CDC recommends that all pregnant women receive the, the seasonal H1N1 vaccine by a needle injection rather than a nasal injection because the needle injection contains the inactive form of the virus and does not place the pregnancy under any risk for complications, while the nasal injection does contain the live virus and could produce some cold-like symptoms in pregnant women. Now that we have discussed the causes, let's give a shot at these solutions for the uprising issue. The nationwide solution is a promotion of preventative measures to stay healthy during the flu season. The CDC wrote an article encouraging school systems in public areas to promote the flu vaccine before the actual flu season in, before the actu actual flu season in order to keep communities, counties, and states free from illness. This can be enforced through educational classes, vaccination stations set up by the states in order to serve its people, and Keeping our nation free from the influenza vaccine, influenza virus should be the common goal. With the establishment of relationships with, this, with public officials, one opens up doors for questions and advice on tips for staying healthy, all while staying informed about your own health, your own community and neighborhood's health. Now, let's find a cure for this problem. The small-sided solution is taking the small preventative prevent enough steps to staying healthy during the flu season. These steps are simple and easy to follow. First, always keep, always keep a hand sanitizer or sanitary wipe at hand. If you are feeling under the weather, stay home from work, public areas, or school because you will end up spreading, this, <laughs> spreading the virus to your, local, to your locals and your peers. Make appointments at your local pharmacies to set up vaccination appointments as soon as possible and always keep the house stocked with disinfectants during the winter months. Simple steps such as these are what can, cause, or what can keep families healthy and public systems running smoothly during the flu season. Staying healthy during the cold and flu season should be every family and individual's goal because if the simple steps are followed, then the bigger steps are easier to follow. In conclusion, we have discussed the problems, the causes, and the solutions for why the flu shot should be forced. Staying healthy should be simple because flu season is an anticipated time of year, so everyone should be taking the proper steps to staying healthy. As a child, I struggled with the flu shot. It was never a fun time of year. And even though I didn't understand the concept of why a flu shot should be helpful for me because it hurt, I stayed healthy because my mother took the small steps, and in return, I stayed healthy. Always take the precautionary steps when the changing of the season arrives, because as, ha as Shakespeare says in his famous quote in his famous play Hamlet, you will suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous misfortune.